guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today we're gonna be just playing with some new makeup and I'm getting ready to film another video so I thought why not film and try some new bits that I've received and it's just gonna be a fun makeup video obviously before I jump into the video I want to do my post notification shout out I really want today's shout out to go to Jonelle Adderley you are so lovely hun honestly you show love on every single one of my videos every single one of my stories and every single one of my posts like it the support is insane so I just want to send so much love to you and, and just say thank you if you guys do want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button let me know in the comments below by commenting um post notifications on or you can just leave a nice comment and that's it right let's jump into it i'm gonna start off with my brows i received the new benefit browsings pro palette i love that you get like actual precise brushes in here the shade i have is medium deep and we're just gonna start off i think i'm gonna start with the pomade first i do like more kind of like softer brows so i'm going in with a light brown here so this shade is really warm, I think, for me. Yeah, it's a little bit warm. I'm just going to go in with a bit, a bit of the darker shade now. Just frame my brow a bit and do like little hair strokes. You do get a spoolie in here, which is so handy. I feel like I could do a little bit. I'm going to take the other side and use some of the powders. Then I'm going to take a bit of my NARS concealer. This is in the shade of Biscuit. Kind of like carve this bit. And then finally, I think I'm just going to take with a spoolie some of the wax. It's very, it's like an actual thick wax. Which obviously I'm very happy about it's like literally glue but I don't know how long wearing this is but so far I love how like it's gripping each hair like you know it's not just brushing through like you can feel the friction that's this side and that's that one I might just keep these in place as well look at the difference it really lifts the eye up don't it I wish I could say I woke up like this but I didn't okay I woke up like this that is insane, look at that. Okay, let's do the other side now. Right, now that brows are done, so far my thoughts on that palette is, if you're a makeup artist, I feel like you need this in your kit. Benefit like brow products are really high quality and it gives you amazing brows and I love this palette. Um, I feel like it's, I don't think I will use it on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm in a rush, but if I'm going out and stuff, I'll definitely take my time with this palette on my brows, like it's so nice. And if you have like the pre precise brow pencil as well, it'll be like a good combination. I have a few skincare bits that I wanted to try in today's video. Uh, I think I'm going to go in first with a hyaluronic acid serum by Good Molecules. These are available on Beautylish now and they were kind enough to send me some and I just get so excited about skincare guys. And by the way, I love this top. It's new. It's from uh, Pretty Little Thing. And to be honest, I'm, I'm going to have a I probably already have a Pretty Little Thing haul already. Um, but um, I feel like it's really hit and miss. I haven't tried the stuff that I got yet, but this oh, just check out my pretty little thing video. But I love this top. It's so beautiful. It's a bodysuit. I'm really happy. This is my new top. I'm really happy that I have some hyaluronic acid because I watched Jackie Ina's video and she was like, she's got amazing skin, and she was like, you need hyaluronic acid. And I don't, I used to wear it. It's not my favourite acid, but I feel like I have dry skin. I should be wearing it. And she was like, you need hyaluronic acid in your life. So I'm glad I'm got, I've got one that I'm going to try and stick to. And this just feels really nice. It feels really luxe, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't have the scent, but you can already see a glow. I'm trying to be more gentle with my skin. I really tug a lot on my skin. So next up, I'm going to use the 4th Ray Rose Face Milk. I've really been enjoying the matcha one. These are very hydrating, so... 
it just feels so nice on the skin. So yeah, on in the mornings I actually put the matcha on, um, on with my moisturizer, and it it's really nice and it smells amazing. Then I have the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. It's got shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and it's got a plant derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. Oh, this is not no sense. Definitely doesn't have like that silicone-y kind of feel. I'm gonna go in with foundation now. I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder Double Wear in Toasty Toffee. I'm just gonna blend this out. I don't know if you guys meant, noticed in my previous videos, but I've been loving cream contouring before concealer. So I'm going to use some of my Huda Beauty Tantor in medium. And I love using a stippling brush to blend it. Like even without concealer, look how that brightens under my eyes. I have quite a bit of Colourpop stuff today. So next I'm using the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Medium Dark. Um, I've been like finding so many like good stuff on Amazon. So I don't know if you guys want to see one of those like an Amazon recommendation videos. Let me know in the comments because I have some few bits that I've found that are so good and I really want to do like a work wear kind of um, try and video. I think you do like it when I talk about more office stuff and work wear. I just don't have a contourable nose if that is the way you say it. Ew, I'm really happy with that. Right, concealer contour is done. We're now going to set that in place with the Revolution Bacon Blot Banana deep powder guys another show that i've been really into is um next in fashion i watched the first episode it's actually very interesting it kind of gives me ne america's next top model vibes but it's more like fashion and designing it's really really cool so i've been liking that and oh my god uncut gems on netflix such a good film just going to add a bit more bronzer, so I'm going to use some of the Benefit Hula bronzer. This is the caramel one. I love blush, so I'm going to use the Primark. Uh, I don't even know, Miscavado blush. I don't even know if they sell this. They probably have like similar blushes. So keeping a very light hand. So that's our blush done and we need some highlight. I haven't done a good highlight in ages so I'm going to go with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Palette and I think I'm going to go in with this peach shade right here. Now this is definitely more like a chunky glitter highlight but it's so pretty like for nights out. I need to reach for this palette a bit more because it is really pretty. Right, now onto the eyes. I'm going to be using this Colourpop, Colourpop, blah, blah. I'm going to be using the Colourpop All That Eyeshadow Palette. And it's got some really pretty colours in there. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Silhouette first. Let's just hope there's not too much fallout. I don't want to make this look too dark. I do want to like wing it out. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Please Me, just to deepen the outer corner. Gosh, that is like pigmented. So 
So I'm using Cha Cha and Come Through just to like clean up this. So it's really good to like use lighter palette, lighter colours in the palette um, to clean up the shadow and just, you know, soften it a little bit more. There's a really, really pretty like glitter shade in here, which I need to use. I'm going to use my trusty old NYX glitter glue, obviously. I just grab that on the brush and put it all over. I feel like this is very similar to a look I recently did. Pack it on. I just feel like you just can't go wrong with a bit of glitter. Finish off with the finger because that's like the best way to pack a colour on. But that is stunning. Stunning. I have some uh, cream gel colour by Colourpop. And it's just like a black shade with some hints of sparkle in it. I'm just going to use this as my liner today. I haven't used gel liner in like forever. Don't know if I can still do it. My first time trying this gel. Um, it's not like black black, but I'm not mad at it, to be honest. It's more of a smoky black. And then next I'm going to use a cream gel liner in Hustler. I'm just putting some of this gel thing. Top and bottom. I'm just going to put some of my Fenty Beauty mascara. And then for lashes, I'm going to use my Lottie lashes, which is actually one of my favourite. I can't, like, part ways with this because it's so, so beautiful. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with this uh, Revolution one in Rumba. It's so, so gorgeous. I just posted a before and after photo of this look on my Instagram, so do follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I'm going to go and film my um, clothing haul now, which will already be up, so do check that out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more videos like these, because I don't know, I don't know if you still like them. I love you guys lots, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!